A pleasure to introduce the host of the Kyoto Global Warming Convention, the inventor of the environment and first emperor of the moon, Al Gore. I have ridden the mighty moonworm. I'm Al Gore, and these are my vice presidential action rangers, a group of top nerds whose sole duty is to prevent disruptions in the space-time continuum. I thought your sole duty was to cast the tie-breaking vote in the Senate. That, and protect the space-time continuum, read the Constitution. The returns are looking good, Mr. Gore. Thanks, Phil. Here's to four years of clean air, clean government, and amazing new technologies such as... The Robot! Philip Price! <laughs> Follow that guy. There's an extra hundred in it for you if you follow him so close to that you run him over. Yes, sir. <laughs> You'll recognize Gary Gygax, inventor of Dungeons and Dragons. Greetings. It's a pleasure to meet you. My fellow Earthicans, as I discuss in my book, Earth and the Balance, and the much more popular Harry Potter and the Balance of Earth, we need to defend our planet against pollution as well as dark wizards. I get to save the Earth with deadly lasers instead of deadly slideshows. If we don't go back there and make the event happen, the entire universe will be destroyed. And as an environmentalist, I'm against that. <laughs> Dang, that hundred dollars could have bought me one gallon of gas. Maybe we should... Put the dice away before I take them away. Professor, you're a professor. You must have some ideas. Absolutely not! I won't speak. I've got nothing to hide. Our next speaker is Professor... I demand the floor! Yes, it's your turn to speak. <laughs> you fool! You foolish fool! Eh, what's the worst thing that can happen? <laughs> I must go now to help collect cans on Jupiter. Peace out, y'all! The entire universe was destroyed. Destroyed? Then where are we now? I don't know, but I can darn well tell you where we're not. The universe. <laughs>